Hi, I'm Tobias Goebel, Director of Mobile Strategy here at Voxeo. I would like to demo to you Voxeo CXP13, basically show you how to use it to build a multi-channel app from scratch uh, within just 15 minutes. What I will do is start off building a mobile web app and then add um, an interactive voice as well as an interactive text component to that app within just a few extra minutes. All right, so let's get started. What you see here is CXP Developer, our uh, uh, service creation environment in which you essentially build out your application flow. It is a plugin into the well-known Eclipse framework. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new project here on the left-hand side in the repository browser. Uh, Right-click on Project, select New, and I'm going to call this project Demo. Uh, finish it. It'll show up here on the left-hand side, and I can double-click to essentially open this project. What you see now is a, a list of um, kind of predefined objects that will um, uh, ultimately uh, constitute your application. Right now it's a pretty small list of pre-configured objects. So it's essentially an empty uh, object browser that you see here. Um, I'm going to start by creating a module that will act as the container of our application. Module objects in Voxio CXB are essentially containers for uh, subflows, for sub-applications. The application that we're going to build here is uh, going to uh, ask the user for their account number and then um, lead them to a main menu of several options. This is supposed to become uh, a banking portal later, so I will basically mock up some of the options just to kind of give you an idea of how this will look eventually as a mobile app. So to start off, um, I will create a new module. Um, I will give this object a name. Uh, let me call it start in this case and save and close this object right away um, so that I can switch over and look at this object in the so-called uh, uh, dialog view which is a graphical representation of your flow. Now uh, what I will do is I will start off building a web application so what I want to do is I want to put the GUI here in the web mode which essentially means that it will hide anything that is not related to web development so anything for IVR and interactive text applications. Uh, I will do that later. I will add that functionally after building out the web flow. So let me focus, let me change the, the view here. Um, and from now on, I will only see fields and objects and labels that are relevant to building out a web application, a mobile web application, essentially. So the first thing I'm going to do is create an input object. I'm going to drag this, put it here in the sequence. The input object will ask the, uh, the user for their account number. As you can see here, uh, the input consists of three main sections, the page content top, some input elements, and the page content bottom. So this will ultimately constitute your, your mobile web page. I will call this get account number. As page content top, um, I can define some HTML. I can uh, enter some text. So this can be you know, full markup that will ultimately be rendered um, at, at the top of your page. So I will create a little. Uh, uh, h1 tag here and say welcome. In addition, I need to define my input elements. So in this case, I want to capture an account number. So I'm going to call this act number and I need to link a variable in this field which would ultimately hold the value of my account number. So I'm creating a new variable, calling that also account number, closing out the variable. So now it is linked here in the variable field. For this input element, I want to uh, use a widget. So the uh, input object provides an embedded widget object through which I can now um, select essentially what type of input this would be. Now I want this to be a text input, but as data type, I want this to be a number so that on a mobile phone, um, the uh, display would essentially open up a keyboard, the numeric keyboard for entering numbers. As you see, as I changed the data type, some other fields here showed up. So I can now give this a label. Uh, I can give this a tooltip. What I will do is um, basically uh, use a placeholder, which will be embedded in the uh, resulting text field. So as the placeholder, I will say, enter your eight-digit account number. Um, I can obviously also provide some, some validation patterns here. Um, I will skip those steps, but I will make it a required value. OK, um, I will not need any uh, content at the at the page bottom, so I will skip this one. So I have defined my page content top 
uh, my input elements. Now what I could do is essentially also add something like, um, please um, provide your account number. Uh, basically a message that will uh, guide the user as to what to enter in this field.